Hi there, welcome to the channel and welcome to the next episode in this station guide series. This one is about the defense station. So this is the station I'm talking about. I'm going to go through each of these weapon systems. Um, as I do, I'll tell you what the information means on screen. And I'll go through the radar when I do torpedoes. So starting on the left, you've got your AA missiles or anti-air missiles. And these will lock onto a target that comes into range of your carrier. I believe that range is 5 kilometers. So any aircraft that comes into range it'll lock onto and then you can just fire it using these buttons. Once it locks these will flash white. Um, at the minute these have a tendency to hit surface targets as well so it might be worth keeping an eye on them. And the ammunition this takes is just the AA missiles. Up top here you can see how much ammo you've got in stock in each one of them. Uh, and loaded in each one of them. And you can also see the target and solution underneath. Coming to the next system, this is your closing weapon system or CWIS. The FLFR brackets on here mean front left and front right, back left and back right. And once they get a target, this will flash white again. And it will get any missiles, incoming missiles, or aircraft coming towards your carrier. I believe at a range between 800 to 1000 meters. Up here, you can see the ammunition loading into each one, and again, the targeting solution it has. And these take your 20mm ammo. Coming over to your flare launcher, two ways to launch this. You can do one manually, which will aim for the closest island and try to light it up. The other way is through your viewing scope. So I can go to flare here. You can do this in your vehicle one as well. Aim it where you want to light up. Fire that, get the solution and it'll light up the area. Next system is your cruise missile. So this can only be fired through your viewing scope or remotely through one of your vehicles. So if I go to carry a missile here, I can aim at a target between, you know, all the way up to 15 kilometers to 20 kilometers, something like that. I think there's an achievement for getting one over 10 kilometers. So they've got a decent range on them and you just fire and you need to keep the target painted while it travels. Uh, that one's up here. You can see how much ammo you got left in store there and the targeting solution. And these take your cruise missile ammo. Next system is your main gun or your carrier gun. Again, this can only be fired remotely. So that's this one here. So on this one, you can find a target press fire it will get the solution and start aiming towards it and then once it does I believe it fires something like five shots so here we go there we go really really good if you're just starting out I suggest you save that ammo for when you really need it until you can get a blueprint and start producing it at the top here you see how much ammo is left in the gun and you can also see the solution there and you've got some visual representations of the ammo as well. Next system is your torpedoes. Now I do have an in-depth guide, no pun intended, um, of how to fire these and use the activation timers, so I'm not gonna talk about these too much, um, but this is your timer in seconds, so you can choose how long you want to wait before the torpedo, torpedo activates. Um, that's useful if you want to avoid hitting a barge that might be going past or if there's a target you want to intend to hit and you don't want it to deviate from that. And down here is your bearing. Now, quick note about the bearing. If you look on your radar, this goes all the way out to 10,000 meters. I think you can fire torpedoes up to 20 kilometers. So they've got quite a decent range on these and they've got like a 10 minute timer. I think after 10 minutes they do um, uh, explode. <laughs> Forgot what the word is. Uh, one thing to note on this screen is this is north, okay, and this is which way your carrier is facing. So if you've got target ahead of you, don't think you need to aim up here and fire. You need to aim towards where your carrier is firing. This has got a range of 10,000 meters, and this is between each circle. So as we zoom in, you can see that reducing. Once you've got a target, you can load the torpedo by clicking these. Once they turn green, you're free to fire. So if I just fire one down, 
This bear in here. Fire one. Fire two. You can also see these on your radar, and you can also see them on your hollow map, I believe, if you zoom in close enough. There. To see how many you've got in stock, you do need to go to the logistics screen. There's no on-screen prompt for that. You've also got your noisemakers here. Uh, now, with your noisemakers, these will emit a radar signal and divert the enemy torpedoes away. So if a torpedo is coming at you and you want to send it in a different direction, give this a bearing where you want it to fire, load the noisemaker, and then fire. And if a torpedo is coming at you, it will try to follow that. Up here is your countermeasures. Sorry, the, the carrier is going all over the place. Um, up here is your countermeasures. Now these countermeasures are sonar countermeasures, and these will emit a noise that, um, that blinds the enemy torpedoes and try to lose your target. Try not to stay stationary when you do this because these don't move, these will just drop. So you need to kind of get away from it and the torpedo will kind of be blind to where you are. And you just launch them with this. So I believe that's it for this station. If you've any questions, put in the comments below. Um, as I said with the ranges, if anything changes or if, if I'm wrong, put them in the comments and you can check them yourself. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you later. Cheers. Oh, by the way, I'm counting this as a as a defense station as well, but you've got your alarm there. So if you're in multiplayer and you see someone coming at you, push that button to stop it. Press that one. Easy.